Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a 39, 40 week pregnancy update. I'm just going to talk about how I've been feeling, um, what's going on, what's next. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this type of video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get started with this video. So I am currently 40 weeks and 5 days and I'm past my due date. And... A lot of things a lot of things are happening okay so let's go back when I was 39 weeks so last week yeah last week I was 39 weeks and I went to go to my doctor's appointment like my weekly um, checkups ever since I was 37 I think I was 37 weeks I have been going to my OB every week so last week I went for my 39 week checkup and I was hoping that I was at least dilating like at least one centimeter but I went to my OB and he checked me and I was not dilated at all. I actually thought that I was dilating because I've been having really um I don't know if there were contra I don't know if there were contractions. I don't I don't know if there were Braxton Hicks but I was feeling really like I was getting like I was getting like period cramps and they were like they would hurt a little bit and like not a lot like I could um handle them but I noticed that I have been I have been getting those not like like not constant but I was like having them so I was like you know what if I'm contracting then maybe because I'm dilating but that was not the case maybe there were Braxton Hicks I don't know um it's my first time being pregnant, so I don't know how contractions are supposed to be supposed to feel. And based on what I've been hearing from my friends, um, watching YouTube videos, they say that they feel like period cramps, that they start from your back, from the front, and your stomach gets hard. And that's what I would that I, that's what I've been feeling. So that's why I was like, you know, the contractions, like you know, like maybe I'm already starting to dilate, but no, got checked. I wasn't dilating um, um so the 39 weeks I have I've been feeling really tired already like I don't want to do anything I'm tired I just want to be laying down but since I really want to start like I really wanted to um you know I want to start dilating so I've been moving around doing stuff around the house walking bouncing on my ball I was just being act active so I could, you know, so I could start dilating. So I've been feeling really tired. That's pretty much it. Like, I've just been super tired. I did notice that I was discharging, um, I think it was my mucus plug. I'm not sure, but it, it was, like, mucusy. Yeah, so they say that it's the mucus plug. But yeah, I've been noticing that. I've been discharging a lot more. Um... What else? I feel like that's pretty much it. I was just feeling tired, trying to dilate, all that. Okay, so I went to my OB, like I said, got checked, wasn't dilated at all. And he asked me, he's like, what do you want to do? And I had a, f I had hope that I will at least, that, that 39 week, I'll dilate at least something or something may happen um, because... I've heard that women go to the OB and then they're like, you're not dilated at all. And then like days pass and all of a sudden your water breaks or you start feeling contractions, you know? So I was feeling really hopeful and also I didn't want to, um, like if my baby wasn't moving or something, maybe she's not ready. Maybe she still needed time. So I decided and I told him, I, I told him, I was like, what do you think is my best option like what do you think um like what do you recommend as my doctor like what should i do because i mean since since i was 37 weeks i haven't been dilating and he just told me like you know i let i, I let my patients decide what they want to do so anyway so he was like if if like i was thinking of like if he's telling me that if it's like whatever i want to do maybe it's still not a concern that I'm not dieting, so I was like, you know what? 
I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, like I want to wait to 40 weeks. I was like, okay, you know, if by 40 weeks I don't start dilating, then I want to get induced. So he was like, okay, that's fine. Um, he just said that the only like risk of me waiting 40 weeks was that you know like the baby girls and then you know maybe you know maybe it wouldn't fit or you know it just grows bigger so i was like um i asked him so like how how much is she weighing and he said like six six to seven pounds i know they're not accurate but i was okay like that's not that big so i was like you know what i'm gonna wait i'll, I'll just wait for my 40 weeks appointment so i left my doctor's appointment and i felt really sad i was like you know what like i'm not dilating but I was like, you know what, if I'm I'm just gonna wait and wait the 40 weeks and if by 40 weeks I don't dilate, then I'm going to then I'm gonna get induced. Um so all that 39 week I've been walking like a mile. Um I even jogged. I don't know if that's good for you. Well I've heard that it's good, but I mean I was I would jog and I I don't even run, but I started jogging a lot. Also, I will do like the, supposedly like estas en la orilla and then you'll go like wanna see. I don't know how to say, but I've been doing that. I have been bouncing on my ball nonstop, doing squats. I've done, I've tried to do the nipple stimula stimulation with my breast pump, not, did not work. Supposedly that was, the fully that was like, like supposed to induce you right away no it didn't it didn't for me so i did that i've eaten a whole ass a whole pineapple while i was um bouncing on my ball i've tried everything like everything everything 39 weeks and i'm 40 weeks and so last sunday was supposed to be my due date sunday comes around and nothing happens and I haven't been feeling crampy I don't know I, I I just felt like like really like I don't I don't know I was just like okay whatever and I was like you know what like this girl's not gonna come out by herself and then my family was like just wait maybe like they're not accurate maybe a few days will pass like maybe three days and you that I that I that you know because I had my 40 week appointment the um this uh, third um Thursday I had my appointment so I was gonna go in for my 40 week and three day up um checkup so he was like so they were like just be patient maybe she's gonna come so um but I already had a feeling that when I hit my due date I knew that she wasn't gonna come by herself so you know what? I was still hopeful, and I was still walking. I would do all the things that like walking, squatting, belting on my ball, everything. And Monday came around, nothing. I wasn't feeling anything. Tuesday came around, I wasn't feeling nothing. Wednesday came around, I wasn't feeling nothing. So I knew that I was going to go for my. I was going to go for my. A 40 week appointment and you know what I was gonna be like you know what schedule me to get induced because I didn't want to get past my I didn't want to get past 41 weeks so that so was Thursday and this appointment I had it in the morning so I went this morning and I was like hoping hoping that was at least one centimeter dilated or something or something I was just feeling hopeful that I was dilating, like at least dilated one, like one centimeter. So I go in. Um, I went to go get a. It's like the anatomy scan that they start, like they they check, um, the baby's um weight, the like, the amniotic fluid, everything, like just to see if everything was fine because I'm already I was already past my due date. Um, keep in mind that I. I was like, people go, people wait till like they're 41 weeks and they give birth or 42 weeks. Um, I knew there was some risk, but I was like, you know what? Like if I get past, like if I pass a little bit of like 
days. Not, like, no, no creo que pasa nada. So, I went to my appointment. I got those um, ultrasound. And then I, I went to... Then they put me into... They put me like this. Um, They put it in your stomach to check um, if you're contracting and the baby's heartbeat. The stress test. So, I was... I was there, got that test. So while my doctor was reviewing my baby, baby's result, I was there um, getting the test done. Um, at first, I didn't know what it was. I was like, "What is that? Like, like is that for like is that my heartbeat or well, my heart's right here?" But I don't know. I just had the the thing, and I was like, "Okay, like I was like, okay, what's like what is it?" And then, then when I found out what it was, I was like, okay. And it sounds scary, like, it sounded really calm. And then, de repente, like, se subía, like, se subía yo en veo. And then, like, I was like, okay, what's happening? So, oh, my doctor comes in and he asked me, he's like, how have you been feeling? Are you, are you feeling anything? And I was like, well, I have been feeling pain, but I don't know if they're for contractions or something. And he tells me, he's like, you know what, like, we can't wait any longer. Um, like, you can't wait any more longer. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Like, I had already come in with the mindset that I wanted to get induced. Because, like I said, I also, like, my doctor doesn't, some doctors, like, there's some doctors that they're like, yeah, you can pass it 41 week, like, 41 weeks. But he just didn't want to. Like, he said that he doesn't really recommend it so i knew going to the disappointment i was like you know whatever happens i am going to get induced i didn't want i don't want to wait any longer because i don't want to risk my baby or myself he told me like you we can't wait any longer because um we're going to be putting the baby at risk and i was like okay then yeah i want to get induced as soon as possible and the only thing that i don't know if when we didn't have all this covid I don't I didn't know if I don't know if back then it was really hard to find any hospitals available. Maybe right now it's really hard because of all this COVID thing. But I really wanted wanted to go into a hospital that only treated like pregnant women, like not no COVID patient, nothing because to be honest, I am I'm really scared of all that. I'm I'm scared to be in a hospital. Like maybe there's it's not the same floor, but you know, people who have been in contact with like people who have, who have COVID, so I told him that I wanted to go to this hospital, and he was like, "I don't know, we have room." That the only hospital there was, um, it was this hospital that I know, I know this hospital, but I'm not sure if there's, you know, like COVID patient. But I mean, that was the only hospital that there was available for me. So I agreed and I was like, okay. And I actually got, uh, to be honest, I got scared because of how he was telling me. Um, he was just like, you know what, we can't wait any longer. So I was like, sorry, panicking. I was like, it's okay. Like, it's because there's something wrong with my baby or just because I'm going to get, like, um, or is it because I'm almost going to be my 41 weeks? And like I said, he doesn't like um his patients going past his forty um going past forty one weeks. And I was already feeling super scared. I was like, Is something wrong? I don't know. And I didn't ask him because I didn't get to ask him because I mean we were talking about more about like getting induced, going to the hospital, finding ho a hospital and all that. So as soon as was Sunday. So I was exactly going to be forty one weeks. And I was like, Okay, like if that's the soonest and the only hospital, then okay, let's do it. Like, I don't want to risk my baby. So, okay, let's do it. Let's go to the hospital and whatever. Like, I just want my baby to be safe. So, I still get checked. I still I still got checked if I was at least a dilating. So, he checked me and I was not dilated at all. So, that also... That also disappointed me a lot. I was like, wow, I did all this. I'm doing everything. I have I have always been active in my pregnancy. And I'm not even dilating at one. 
centimeter like I wasn't dilated at all I know some people say that their first pregnancy um it takes you a while sometimes you don't dilate at all but like I don't know I just I just wanted to dilate at least dilate once like I wanted to dilate at least one centimeter so he just told me he's like okay we're doing this at 11 okay so you're getting induced on Sunday at 11 at night and he was just like we have a lot of work to do and I was like okay I mean and I got out of my appointment really sad scared because of how he was telling me maybe I mean if I was gonna wait to like if I was gonna wait till Sunday maybe right now my baby's fine but it's just that like I said he doesn't like his patients going over 41 weeks so oh and also I forgot to mention I also got scared because he was like feel your baby move at least five times in within an hour then go to the hospital and that even got me even more scared and I was like like what because I've seen people go past their 41 weeks and they're fine and they get induced okay whatever but that's why I was like you know I'm gonna wait but I don't know like hearing all that like it, it scared me so I got out of my appointment I got out of my appointment super sad but also excited because I was like okay Sunday I'm gonna go in the hospital I'll maybe my baby will be born Monday or Tuesday so I was excited because I was like you know what we're finally going to meet her I feel like this pregnancy has been so not long but like you know I'm like I'm not done like I'm not over pregnancy but I just really want to meet my baby already and let her I just want her here so Rihanna just started crying because I was just like super scared of you know what giving birth I mean it's my first time I don't know what to expect I don't know what's going, going to happen so I was already really scared um super nervous and also I'm getting like nervous because I'm like oh shit like I'm going to give birth to a whole human being you know pushing out this baby um and I'm super afraid of needles and all that stuff so that's why I'm even more scared so I'm just waiting Sunday to get induced hopefully everything goes out fine um i just want her here already like if you can see i have already everything said for her so i'm so ready um to get it over with and yeah guys maybe my next video is going to be a labor vlog or a labor story i don't know so let me show you my bump right now i'm 30 i mean i'm 40 weeks and i feel like i don't know if it's this dress but my baby popped out and um also i have been praying and praying to god that everything goes out good and my baby's fine so i'm just checking if she's moving a lot but to be honest she's moving so much that it hurts already like right now she's like right now she's moving a lot and i feel like that's why my stomach looks bigger because she's like so already like popped out and i feel every move and it hurts so let me show you my bump so this is my let me see, let me see how i could do this this is my bump. My st my bump is so low, and I feel like my bump already is st sticking out. Look how look how big it is. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That's my update, and hopefully the next video um is going to be me and my baby. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.